Hi there, thanks for tuning into my channel. I really do appreciate. In this video, I want to show you how to insert a page break in your Excel worksheet and how to repeat a particular rows or column titles in your Excel worksheet when you want to print a particular worksheet. But before we get started, if this is the first time on my channel and you like to be a Microsoft Excel Pro with straight to the point tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell to know when I drop new content every Wednesdays and Sundays. And trust me, I always try my possible best to drop new content just for you. So let's jump into Microsoft Excel and learn how to insert a page break and how to repeat rows or column titles in your Excel worksheet when you want to print a particular worksheet. So let's get started. Hi there, here I am in Microsoft Excel. I have a very simple salary worksheet. You will notice it is sorted by department. We have the graphic department, marketing department, sales, and so on. What if my boss comes to me and asks me to print what? To print out this document for each department. So I don't have to work. Here's what I will do. I don't have to start creating new worksheet again. All I have to do is what? Insert a page break and repeat what? This row title there. So let me show you how to do that. First, let me show you a printing preview if I want to print out this worksheet. I just press Ctrl P on my keyboard. You see, this is a printing preview of the word of the worksheet. What I have to do is now what? Separate each department by department. So I just press the escape key or press this to go back. So to do that, you come to the page layout tab. Now the page setup, you will see breaks, insert a page break. But before you do that, you have to select where you want to work to insert a page break. So I just come to the graphics department. Under it, under the first name in this marketing department, and I press this insert a page break. You notice this particular line across the word, across the worksheet. That's what caused a page break. So to do this for all departments, I just have to come to the, to the first name in the next in the next two departments, and I use the cut the word the shortcut F4 on my keyboard. And I press F4, you see the F4 key repeats my last action. So, so I don't have to what, start going up here again because to start clicking to insert a page break, insert a page break. Super easy, right? I just come to the sales, see the sales department, I come to the first name in the IT, press the F4. Wow, super easy, right? IT, first name in HR, press the F4, same with finance, same with executive, if I'm right. Yeah, this is executive. Yeah. So let me now show you the, what the printing preview right now. Ctrl P. You see, I have what I have separated what each department into what different worksheets, different printing preview rather, different printing pages. I will say rather. Yeah, you can see I have what I've lost my what I've lost my what my headers or my titles. So I have what I have to go back here. So to what to repeat these titles across. A different print, a different page. I want to print. I just want to do what the print titles. When you click that, this dialog box pops up. You see, repeats rows to repeat at the top, columns to repeat at the left. So this time around, I want my rows at the top. I just click here, just click this box here, and what select where you want. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. You see, rows one to what, rows one to four. I notice what it is a fixed reference. I hope you understand what a fixed re reference is. And I click OK. Now nothing is happening, but let's look at what our printing preview. Boom. So I'm back in my printing preview. First department graphics looking good for what for printing. You see, marketing department looking good. Sales, you see, IT, HR, finance. Cool. So you see those that is what that is how to insert a page break out and repeat a particular rules or what or column titles. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up. Yeah, and don't forget to share. So that's about that's how to also insert page breaks and what repeatable rules titles. And please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed, but that's to show us you support my work and what and like what I am doing. Don't forget to subscribe also and see you in the next video. I'll be dropping new content 
every Wednesdays and Sundays. So bye bye. Do have a great day. See you in the next video. Do watch out for your what? For your next video. Thank you. Bye bye.